thing was said to be against Kaina, and look who came out on top. And it looks like they're ready, so boys, let's find out who goes to the Grand Finals! Godly on the ray, man. Use on the J on you know Flambo's in the back. So happy that we're getting some great sword representation here in the winner's final. It's crazy if the patch came out just a little bit earlier, we would have a SpongeBob winner's finals here because we have Godly on the Rayman, hoping his gauntlets and axe can find the way in on this devastating greatsword that Yuz has been slicing and dicing through the bracket all day. It really comes down to how Godly can get around this greatsword because Yuz's greatsword is so good at keeping that pressure going, but right now, Yuz is struggling against Godly. His gauntlet going to KO, down Sig to take the corner. Played a little bit high on that wall hurt box peek over just a little bit and godly found purchase with those bombs that he was dropping right on the edge that pretty safe corner guard it's going to be really tough for you to find the timing to get through that with a dodge usually players against a rayman will just play low exactly like you just did and you see even there he didn't get hit by it but he still wasn't able to punish yeah, I mean, it is very hard to get back up against that. Yeah, you can be safe, stay low, or maybe stay to the outside. But even then, like you said, very hard to punish. Right now, Godly already adding up damage onto the second stock of use and use needs to hit, hold onto the sword. That is the big KO tool for the Jay Youngs out there. He hasn't found a move in like 10 or 15 seconds. The first one was a neutral light, not a KO move. The second one was a nair. This time he picks up the recovery high enough in the air to get the KO off the top. You see him doing those dashes back and forth, the dash jumps making sure he sticks to that ground. Those fingers are warmed up and he's ready to swing. Has the great sword in his hand now. We'll see what Godly has against this now that he has the ax. I like what Yuz is doing with this great sword. Got a little bit of an opener onto Godly, but then backed away, trying to find the read there. Godly not able to connect onto that neutral sig as Yuz is staying very low, respecting Godly. And we were talking back in the green room during a, a previous godly set about how godly gets more hits with that neutral signature than both you and i think he has any business getting but somehow he finds it at the right time use waiting he didn't immediately go for the ko finish waited for just a second then found the neutral air wasn't quite enough to ko yet again the weapon toss coming out hoping to shake godly up a little bit and then get the follow-up with the recovery the neutral light is the only thing he felt safe doing there instead of the D-light into the side air. Not going to lead to the KO just yet. Both players very deep in the red on their second stocks. Godly looking for the gauntlet recovery. The side air with the weapon toss. Bonk on the head. That's going to be the stock used with a lead. Rewinding a little bit. I love that neutral light from Yuz. That quick reaction because Godly just narrowly missed with his own neutral light. And Yuz had to go for the quickest option he could. That was the sword neutral light. But Godly cleaning up the stocks. Down light recovery. Only one weapon spawn on the field so far. One comes in just in time, right where Godly was over on the soft platform. Odin blessing him with that one so he can strip the field from Yuz, who's going to immediately go over. Oh, no, he goes, he what, what, is he, what is he doing? He went all the way to the left and all the way back to the right, then all the way up to the soft platform, and he's doing it again! Is he allergic to weapon pickups? Finally, he is able to pick it up, but man, he gave Godly so many opportunities. All things considered, though, Yuz has the stage control and the damage advantage. It's like he made the decision to go towards it and then got close and was like, Actually, I don't, I don't want pizza. I want tacos. Well, I'm sorry, but we're going to Pizza Hut. You got to get the pizza. Hoping he can get a full deep dish here against Godly. Ooh, you can see he's playing some real neutral here. Only finding his first way in with the weapon toss. Almost like an old school snowy game. They're really picking and choosing now. You can see how important this final stock is for both players. Oh. He falls off the soft platform, so the second hit's not going to connect. Use still unarmed. This time he actually does make the move over to it. You see the side light. Godly was way too high, but he's not able to punish it because he was so high in the air. Oh, the same direction, GC side light. Neutral air's coming out from Use. Oh, oh, he no wasn't nair? able to get the nair afterwards. Once again, Godly trying to find that read off that side light. Side light. Ooh, tried to read the dodge in. This time, oh. Godly goes for it. The Nair almost takes him off. Over to the sword. Recovery. And Yuz takes game number one. After the signature, he was able to immediately dip down below the main level of the stage. Godly's attempt at a punish was if Yuz was stuck on that main stage. He was able to get around it. That signature, it looked almost like a Hail Mary, like that was going to be it, but he was able to fall out of it in time. Well placed from Yuz, and he's going to take game one because of it. Yeah, really well done with that side signature, because A, if it hits, it's going to launch off stage. B, if it doesn't hit, you get to fast fall, dip low. Now we're going to small brawl haven for game number two. 
opening up. Godly's gonna grab the first weapon. Use grabs the second one very quickly. He also found the unarmed down air, so he's found the only damage so far in this game. And Godly instantly over onto the wall, spending about five seconds there before coming back to the main platform. Landing with a down air, now juggling with the neutral air. Second one doesn't make a connection, but punishes the landing with a neutral light and a weapon toss after it. Oh, trying to open up Yuse with those weapon tosses, but Yuse finding more damage. Okay. Engagement. Down zig. Weapon toss doesn't hit, but the down light ground pound. Yuse in trouble. He's sweat He's beating. Neutral oh, he's zig done. is back, baby. His dodge came off of cooldown just in time to find the GC neutral signature. Found priority there. Got the hit on Godly, which forced him away, giving Yuse enough time to get over to the wall. No, but Yuse finds the downlight recovery. He's able to get the KO. Godly, so close to finishing off the first stock, but Yuse capitalizing. A little bit of juggle game coming out here. Oh, the weapon toss oh. goes right through Godly. Godly's able to grab the weapon, find the instant KO. Weapon spawn comes in, but Yuse is still spawning back into the game. Not able to get over to it. Godly going to stick with the axe. It's going to be Yuse's sword. He sidelights over and immediately goes back over to the wall. Both players have now started off early on their stocks, instantly going over to the wall to give themselves some breathing room. Goes in for the chase dodge Nair, but Godly able to avoid it. Finds a Nair of his own. Once again, kind of trading blow for blow. Dude, they're both just like whiffing by pixels. Their moves are so close to one another during these dodge circles. Two piece. There was the dodge from Godly, but Yuse was not ready for it. Down sig whiffed. Yuse goes down for the down air, but it lets Godly get that recovery. There is a weapon spawn on the field. Yuse is just playing around oh! it. In light into the D light, gets the recovery. Dodge is still down. Ooh, but he doesn't dodge in. Yuse was going for the read. Oh, the in light just barely misses. July uses sweat beating once again. This oh. time he can't get the touch for the chase dodge up, and Yu's gonna fall down to his final stock. So one thing that's different with Godly versus Yu's here compared to like Kaina versus Yu's earlier is Kaina just wasn't dodging. The string would start off from Yu's greatsword and kind of would either like jump or fast fall back down or move himself back in, but he really wasn't dodging very often in the scenarios. Godly is dodging much more than kind of was to get out of these strings. Yeah, very often he'll dodge, but he's also doing a really good job changing up yes. those dodges. Oh, oftentimes what happens is he'll see Yu's go for like the inside read to that dodge in read, and then he's like, oh, next time you go for me, I'm going to do it because you're not expecting me to go in. Oh, he grabs the landing with the neutral light. I was expecting a down air to come out from Yuse, but I think he was looking for the more horizontal entry. Yuse trying to cover this corner. Godly gets around him, has Yuse in the open air. Great sword, not the best aerial weapon. They're so close to Sweet one another. Beating. And he's done for. Godly going to take game number two, ties it up 1-1. His gauntlets are looking really good, even though, of course, on paper, the range is absolutely going to favor the greatsword from Yuse. But Godly is doing such a good job of staying either completely outside of the range or he's right on top of Yuse. And you see Yuse running away, trying to put that space between them so he can utilize his extra range against Godly. Godly is just not letting it happen. Yeah, I mean, you kind of talked Three, about it earlier, two, right? The spacing one, one. game. They were whiffing each other by pixels. That's because they are playing such precise size footsies against each other. We're going into game number three. They're changing up the map picks. And what's one of the reasons you play the Jay Yun? You play it for the great sword, of course, but if you look at the damage split, it was 220 on sword compared to 142 on the great sword from Yuse. That was Godly staying inside and on top of Yuse the entire time. So Yuse could not find that great sword damage. That was his win condition before. He was tearing people apart with that great sword, but Godly is just not letting it happen. Yeah, he's finding ways around this great sword, but right now he's doing a really good job denying weapons from Godly. Just trying to chase him down. There's the weapon spawn. Godly not going to pick it up for free as he's got that nair, but doesn't get the read. He did hit the two piece. Godly came with the dodge through to get in around and behind use. The jumping downers coming out from Godly does pick up the neutral light there, sending Yuse over to the far right side, then moving back over onto the wall, picking another one up out of thin air. Now going over to the oh! Gauntlet. That is so big. I think it probably would have led to the free edge guard regardless, but the fact that he picked up the axe neutral light while Yuse was already in the air meant his in-air movement economy was already a dreadfully low, and he just kept it going, especially with that down signature on the edge. Yeah, that was just a great recognition of the situation. After Yuse went for that recovery um, past the weapon toss, you can see he was definitely running out of options there. Ensig thrown out. Godly able to get back up on the stage. Picked up the side air with the bounce off of the down air. 
now going back over to the great sword. Ooh. Oh, grabs that one quickly, evening this up about a minute and a half into this game. Stocks are even, games are even between these two players. Godly is without a weapon, but it's spacing again. He really didn't have to do anything to get away from that neutral air that came out from Muse. He just kind of moved a little bit to the left and he was there. No dodge burned, no jumps burned, nothing. Once again, Yuse trying to find that read onto Godly. You're not seeing those big extensions from the Greatsword play that he so desperately wants. We're also not seeing that neutral signature come out from Godly that we talked about previously. And that's because, like, when you're a Greatsword player, you like to stick to the ground. I know Flambo talks about that a lot. You love to control that ground. Yeah, you do some jumping up and down, trying to throw out that down air maybe every now and then, but you like to control that ground. And what does that neutral signature on Axe from Godly do? Takes you into the sky if they're playing aerially. So we're not seeing him use that very much so far. Of course, we did just see the neutral signature, but we're also seeing now two side signatures this game, that lateral along the ground area. Use just to avoid that neutral signature from Godly. Once again, just poking Godly. He's really trying to figure out these dodges of Godly because otherwise he's just getting an opener and maybe a bridge, which is not that much damage. And he's not getting them that often either. That was one of the big things that he was doing so well against the previous opponents. Does get that clash there, but he's not finding those huge strings. He's not finding that huge momentum. They're just kind of going blow for blow back and forth. I mean, they're trading back and forth, like you said. Godly manages to hit that neutral out. Not quite enough to KO as Yuse is really far out there, but he gets back onto the stage. He knew Godly wanted to chase in the air, so he was saving that dodge. He knew he was really high in the air, so he had enough movement to get back if he really just held right. Oh! Beautiful! Watching. Beautiful choice from Yuse to get back onto the main stage, hit Godly, send him in the blast zone, get a little bit of a lead, but you instantly see the answer back from Godly. He's going to be able to strip the field as well, moving back over onto the axe. Yuse is going to have to wait for the weapon spawn. You immediately see him retreat over to the soft platform. Godly pushes, but Yuse is able to grab the greatsword pretty quickly. Now that gravity cancel side sig that happened to finish off that second stock of Godly was something that Flambo was pointing out in the back. He's like, this is why Skeldra is such a good great sword player. It's something that not enough people are doing. And when you do it, you have to do it very rarely. If you do it every time, like it's it's yep. Orion Spear neutral signature. Everyone knows it's coming. Finally gets a solid great sword string. One of the very few that we've seen from you so far. Got the D-Light oh. into the recovery, then Dodge over the on the edge. Okay. Oh. Okay, use his turn. One more hit, Yuse could find it. He just needs that big swing, but Godly swinging back with the axe, the down light. Yuse tr struggling to get back down onto the ground. Oh! His name is Yuse, but you might have to change that Y for an L for lose, and not like you're the opposite of win, but because he's lighting up like a light. I really hope lose is light uh, in Portuguese. It is in Spanish, uh, so sorry if I'm being ignorant here, but he's lighting L up, man. L -U -Z. Yeah, L-U-Z. L-U-Z. So, so I'm like three layers deep, yeah. baby. I'm four Yomi levels deep uh -huh. if I'm going to take a page out of Flambo's book here, because all of a sudden, we saw that great sword light up. Ooh, and you saw on the screen the character swap coming out from Godly. It's going to be the Taros for game number four. He's hoping this will be the thing to take it to game five and get him closer to the grand finals. I don't know about this one. I don't know about this one. And it's specifically because you beat Kaina earlier on the Taros. What do you think, dude? Believe in the Taros. I, think I, one I, I do can. believe in a Taros, and I believe in Kynas <laughs> Taros, and the fact that he couldn't do it against Yuse. I don't know how Godly's going to do here. Godly's saying he's built different, or maybe he just did not like how his gauntlets fared against the great sword of Yuse. One thing that Taros brings to the table really well in this matchup is you're not having to find those big strings. Instead, you can trade blow for blow really efficiently with Taros against a great sword. That is true. Yuse picks up the two piece there. A lot of distance between those two. Godly being very careful how he chooses to go in. You see him whiff that D-Light, instant two-piece punish from Yuse. Dude, the dash landing from Yuse, like he just whiffs and then dash lands back and forth, makes it really tricky to try to get that punish onto him. Down light, not going to connect for Godly. Needs to start finding that finishing blow. He does have the axe in his hands, which is, of course, going to oh. be the carryover from the Rayman. And the weapon toss is going to hit Yuse, send him into that blast zone, and Godly's going to have his choice of weapons, swapping back over to the axe. Started this one off with Hammer, and it was solid, but I think he's really going to be leaning into this axe, of course, and that's why we see him moving on to it. Taro's brain takes over, and he gets punished for it. Yeah, sometimes when you see the bull on the screen, you just got to press that neutral heavy button when someone's on the corner, but Godly with the swings getting more damage put out onto use a second stock. Going in unarmed. Has the hammer now. 
doesn't want it. Oh, the Cider's is going to bounce off of the stage, take away some of that momentum, and even that almost did it. You still struggling to find this KO. Goes in with the punish on the D-Light into the recovery for the easy KO option off the top after the whiff from Godly. And now used with that weapon advantage. Tried to push it, but Godly with the Nair gets him the weapon pickup as it comes in. He's got a hammer, but Whoa. it's being out by the down bridge. I can't believe he found priority there. If he's able to avoid these just stray hits that Godly is throwing out, he's done a pretty good job so far, but the neutral air sent him flying. Godly's looking for the more consistent setups here. Has a much better vertical KO option with the hammer compared to the axe. Yeah, for sure. Those neutral airs, so valuable. Even down air can be a really good tool for finishing off opponents, and there you're seeing him throw it out. He's continuing to throw it out, staying just above Yuse. Hasn't found a connection with it yet. Yuse is really starting to fight this one back. Godly struggling to find this KO. These neutral airs are not making a connection. Yuse is being very careful here. Whoa. He knows the solid neutral that he's been playing for the latter half of this stock has been working. Godly really struggling to find that blow. You can see he was going for so many down airs and use capitalizing. He's like, all right, if you're going to keep doing this, I'm going to start finding more and more punishes. But there's the Nair, that vertical KO like you were talking about. I can't wait to get a look at this graph to see how long Godly went without finding a hit on to use on that second stock. Use did a great job of lowering that lead, making it much smaller. Oh. Goes for the D-Light into the ground pound all the way over on the right and high in the air, finding the connection, finding the KO, and tying this game up. This is final stocks here, game four. Use could go into the grand finals where Godly oh my could get gosh. us a game five, but Godly's axe swinging. Dude, what a difference between the axe and his hammer. He gets so many hits off of his axe though. He's, oh, oh, got the read. Oh, one of the few signatures scare. he's thrown out this entire set so far. They're even. The lead that Godly had on this final stock was so big once he picked up that axe. But now we're back to kind of the same one thing hit. that happened. Oh, not quite enough just yet. Just one hit away from a game five. Used with the Nair. The neutral oh. stick. Hughes is going to grab. Kinda. So many people's eyes were on Godly and you oh, that's tech. just took He dropped his controller. Down. If Godly loses the rest of the games, it's because use he he did what I asked him to do, which is to sabotage Godly. Woo. Wow. Goodness. Wow. You're seeing Yuz on your screen right now. He's feeling good after that win. You saw him after the one of the last wins that we saw him get. He was feeling good about that. He's pushing it every single time. We saw him deal with Kainas Taros. Then we saw him deal with Godly's Taros. Godly's going to have to work on that hammer, man. It just wasn't it. When the clutch moment came down, he's whiffing so many attacks. He just wasn't able to find the connections that he needs. And that's hammer. That's like one of the biggest things you're looking at when you use that weapon. His axe was light out do yeah, not get me sure. wrong but his hammer man that was the struggle i mean i really want to stretch a point that you were kind of making earlier which is that everybody in the elimination side has lost to use everybody who is sitting on the elimination side right now has is here because use is the one to beat them so they're all looking to see who's going to be the one to take him down now we're seeing the clips here we're going to get a check out